Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on Life Tree Music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, um, come in today. You're very, very welcome. How great to see you all back. I trust you enjoyed my last video on Echo and the Bunnymen. And through this song, The Killing Moon, which is an amazing song from them, we looked at the balance of fate and going for it. So I trust you found that one encouraging. We're going from there to 1948 in Barnet, Hertfordshire. Elaine Gill Bakerstaff was born. Um, and because of her fight, height being only five foot, um, she wanted to do pro tennis, but that wasn't going to be really work, but wasn't really going to work. But she thought, she also had a pretty amazing singing voice. She thought, maybe I could do singing, but she was missing out on a lot of the leading roles because of a height, but that was going to change. The girl we're talking about, Elaine Page. She's the undisputed first lady of British musical theatre. Um, she got inspired to sing by the West Side Story, Oscars and Hammerstein, and by a teacher who saw something in Elaine and thought, actually, let's... Um, I reckon you've got a bit of a career ahead of you here. Um, the height did not stop this girl, as we will discover with some of these iconic roles that she's had. Uh, 1970, she kind of got a bit of a start and she did various stage performances. But a big break came in Evita. This was Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber, Eva Peron, the, the first lady of the, the president of Brazil, or actually Argentina, I should say. <laughs> and um, how she sort of did a few bits and pieces. And of course, you cannot talk about Elaine Page without talking about the song Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. Now, she was in this role. Uh, this She was relatively unknown when she did Evita, and they were actually looking for someone new, and Elaine was just the person to take, take, take this role off. And she did really, really well. In fact, she won a Laurence Olivier Award for this particular role, and she was in the role for around 20 months. So very, very... Uh, a very, very great start to a stellar career this girl has had. Um, so what we've got below, it's got a live version of Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. She just commands the stage, this girl. First of all, she's got a pretty, pretty amazing voice. She's got a stage presence about her. I suppose given some of the roles that she's had, you've got to have that presence about you. She absolutely does so. And you can tell why she's had the amazing career that she has had. Uh, so we've got a live version of Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. Uh, around the 1981-82 period, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber came back with the iconic musical Cats. And uh, who to play Grizabella um, was Elaine Page. And of course, when you think of Elaine, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, you also think, think of the song Memory. Now, Grizabella's character is an interesting one. She's not the up-and-coming cute cats like the rest of the cast. She's the older one of the of the of, of the um the team and she is she's looking back at, at her younger days her younger years she was beautiful she was stunning and she was just everything that every cat wanted to be uh, but here we are at the other end of the of of her life and she's looking back uh, with with sadness but also good memories about the grizabella of the earlier years. In fact, there's a bit of a, a scene in the in, in the uh, clip below, which is a live version, by the way, where a younger version reaches out to her. I'm wondering whether that's a younger version and um, the memory that she's got. Um, and I think a memory is where I want to go today. Um, we know how important they are, um, <clears throat> particularly if someone has died. You know, you might be you might be sad that they're no longer around. They're no, not longer physically around, but they're around in other ways through the memories. And we do need create. We need to create memories through this life. We really, really do, because we've got to we've got to have something to hold on to going forward. Um, there was a great uh, Bon Jovi song. Um, you want to make a memory. You want to catch a piece of time. Absolutely stunning song, that one. Looking at the fact that we need to create memories in this world. They need to be memorable as well. We need to think, well, I remember that night, that day, which was pretty, pretty amazing. And how we um, how we look back at fondness in those times. Even if the perhaps the relationship didn't go so well, that we've still got the good times in that relationship that we need to hang on to. Because when you're feeling sad about something that's over, you know, the memories are the things that will actually help you to smile a little bit about the experience as well. 
Now, I, 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 I'm looking into the Grizabella story just a little bit more. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that, that perhaps in the younger days she was a bit of a diva. She um, really didn't care about too many other cats and um, she kind of um, alienated herself a little bit and now here she is at the end of her life looking back at that time. Um, I think we've got to provide opportunities for people to talk about their memories as well. Um, it's funny how you remember things um, at just in the spare of the moment. You may have forgotten about this thing for 20, 20 years and all of a sudden a memory is there. So we've got to have an opportunity to talk about our memories, I think. Particularly if someone's more experienced in years, as I like to say, um, they won't necessarily tell you. But if you give them an opportunity to talk, they'll recount memory after memory after memory. Um, because they're really, really important. It, it goes in to make us who we are. Who we are as human beings is made up of our life experience, the good and the bad. And we need to, we need to have something that we can, we can hang on to when life gets a bit tricky and a bit hard. And they're the good memories. So if you've lost someone recently, you know where I'm going here. And that is look at the memories. Think of an iconic memory, one, a memory that you go to above all others. And just hang on to that one. Um, because you need them. You really, really need them. And, and you know, the person can kind of still be there. And you know, when you are talking, perhaps with family members, you can say, I wonder what such and such would have thought about this particular moment. And then everyone can think, oh, he would have thought this, or she would have thought that. And it's a way of keeping them, keeping the memory alive, I suppose. So I trust you'll find that encouraging today. Make memories now while you can. So we've got a live version of, of memory from cats. Uh, shoot forward to around 1985 or so. We had the musical chess. We had uh, Benny and Beyond of, of ABBA behind this one and the song, I Know Him So Well. Uh, this is a duet. And here we got to the two of them uh, at the official clip 1985. And then we move forward to 2004 with the live version. So we've got I Know Him So Well from Chess. As I said, the first lady of musical theatre, in 2008 she celebrated her 40th and her 40th anniversary on the West End of London. So, you know, that's one of the, um, the musical theatre spots in the world. Obviously, Broadway is the other one. She has done some time on Broadway as well. So she's been doing this thing for a long, long time. Um, in fact, uh, between 1968 and 2020, there's been 19 stage shows that this girl's been part of. And between 1978 and 2010, 15 studio albums, plus a few other compilations, plus a few other, and obviously the, the, the stage recordings, the soundtracks you've got to do as well. Um, Elaine is an ambassador of the Children's Trust, which is a significant charity in the UK looking at children with brain injury and neuro disability. So good on you, Elaine, for giving your name to a bit of a cause. Um, it's really, really good, I believe, um, in this channel to give everyone a bit of a go. Um, and, you know, we've been looking at Jazz Legends of late. Elaine Page is, again, someone who absolutely deserves, deserves her own video because she has changed the world, this girl, with her incredible, stunning voice and the characters that she's created. Quite stunning characters. Evita's not easy, either is Grizabella. Um, they are hard hard roles these one you need the sensitivity the tenderness the sadness the 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 sincereness of it all to pull these roles off and and elaine page absolutely has done that and so the links to those one two three four clips are in the description below and i've included included also my last video from echo and the bunny man so if you want to recap on them but just something completely different as this channel tends to do feel free well, if you've come back for another one of these videos or you're here for the first time and trying to work out what on earth this Life Reflections Through Music channel is, as you can see, we go all over the shot in genres. We don't have a particular series. It's just whoever I'm up to next in my playlist, and that's just where we go. So thank you for hanging around to the end. So good to see you all doing that. Well, that's it for today. And talking about jazz greats, we're going to go on to Ella Fitzgerald next time. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.